All right, so uh, the next one is the object tile. All right, so if you're if you're not already there, go to the attribute layer. Go over here, and you'll see a purple button that says OBJ. These are uh, these tiles will spawn objects on them. Um, the object list over here on the right are basically just the predefined objects from the external editor. So in the external editor, which is a later tutorial we'll go over, that's how that's where you'll create like all the definitions for your item, like what they're called, what kind of item it is, is it a consumable, is it armor, is it equipment, is it a weapon, um, gold, all that stuff. So uh, for now, all we have to worry about, all this tile does, is just brings those objects and instances them onto a map. So, just for example's sake, uh, let's go grab a paintball, and we'll go to object, right? Um, so, OBJ, paintball, right? And then the quantity will be, like, how many of the physical objects spawn. So, this would be, like, f putting five, like, a stack of actual five individual paintballs on top of one another. So, for stackable objects like gold... I could spawn a quantity of one pouch of gold, right, with a value of 10, meaning that it would spawn one object of gold, but then when a player picks it up because it's stackable, they would get 10 gold. So that's pretty much the, that's pretty much all this object does. So here, we'll spawn in a pouch of gold, we'll grab some water balloons, uh, some item, uh, and we'll just hit commit, and that way you can see them sort of spawn into the game, and then you can run around and pick them up, <laughs> right? So, and look, there they are.